Hey all you wonderful Power Appers, it's Barry here from Power Apps Academy. Welcome to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be covering how to uh, to take some text, it might be just a label or whatever, and updating that text depending on something else. So we might have a value in a SharePoint list or a, a property of my user if I'm in a certain uh, department and I log in it'll show me it'll update the text in a you know in a, in a message or a welcome message on the screen something like that so there's lots of different use cases there might be um an order status depending on or an approval status depending on what the approval status is it'll update the text within a button on your screen so it's dynamic text updates depending on some other variables so we'll look at how to do that but before we jump into the video, uh, please smash up the likes. It really helps the algorithm with YouTube and helps us build our channel. So if you haven't already done it, please just hit the like button below. And even better, if you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, we really appreciate that. And hopefully you can uh, join us on our Power Apps learning journey. But before we jump into it, um, just heading over to our, um, our partner, Power Appify. Loads of business templates over there, really reasonable prices. So head over there if you want to download like Timesheet app or a purchase order app, sorry, a hardware ordering app and lots of other HR type apps. And also if you need help developing your own Power Apps, uh, you know, do hit us up and uh, we can certainly help you get those developed or provide assistance, whatever you need there. So uh, head over to powerappify.com and check them out. Right, let's hop into today's tutorial. Right, um, before we hop into how to do it, I'm just giving you an example. This is a new app that we're working on, a purchase requisition app that we're gonna um, cover in a full tutorial uh, not in the not too distant future. But uh, just to give you an idea over here, if I click on this uh, new purchase requisition, so this is creating a new order. Um, over here you can see I've got this message up at the top of the screen that says, you can order up to a thousand dollars without requiring approval so it'll auto approve and how it's getting that value is it's looking at a sharepoint list and it's uh, seeing what department i'm in you can see over here i've got my department it and the, whoever's in it has a uh, a pre-approved amount of a thousand dollars in this case in this example that they can order without requiring approval so that's uh, how i get the value um so uh, we'll look at how to create this and do the check and then update the value. These statuses as well, what they are variables. So depending on what the variable is um, and what button I click and you know if I approve something, it'll update the variable and depending what the variable is, it'll show that text in the, in the message. So that's dynamic text. So it's really useful for different types of apps. You know, you don't want to have to have different labels and hide one when the other ones, you know, that kind of thing. So you want to update the text of uh, just one message uh, rather than have loads of different messages that you try and hide in the background. That's uh, not a very efficient way of doing it. So I'm going to head over to another app, uh, our demo app, and uh, I'll show you how we can get this working. Okay, so let, let's look how we can uh, set something like that up. I've got my basic live demo app open um, uh, there's nothing on here at the moment but what I have created is I've created this SharePoint list a very basic SharePoint list with the title uh, that's got uh, the department um, I'm in so IT and then uh, a, a column called pre approved amount and that's just a number um, I can you know I could add other ones HR whatever and add any value I wanted for those different departments. But uh, just for this example, I'll just stick to one and that's gonna be uh, IT. So you'll need to set up the SharePoint list. I mean, you don't have to, you could just program the values directly in the app, but uh, having a SharePoint list, um, you know, sometimes it's easier. So, um, right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a button. Right, so I've got a button, and guys, I don't know if you've uh, seen this from other videos, but uh, I create a, a screen with settings on it, and I'll show you why that's really useful. So if I go over to the settings button, 
I've got a button here and I've called it settings underscore button and any other sort of branding stuff I want to add in uh, like I've got this bottom bar that I use on all my screens I've called that bottom bar and I'll show you how I use these so if I go back here and I create a new button um, I, uh, I can set my font size but like if, if you've got custom colors you normally go oh gosh what was that color and you have to copy you have to open another button and so with this I can just go onto the button go into the fill and then just delete that just type in settings and then I want my button settings and then whatever property of that button for the fill I just type in I want the fill of that button right so there we go you can see it's the same so makes it really easy if you want to remember um, things then you know just do that so uh, this button we'll call it set um, message like I would normally put this on the on visible property of the screen so when it opens it automatically sets it I'm just putting it on a button now to make it um, uh, visible for this demo but you know the on visible is if you click on the screen itself drop this down to on visible uh, here you can put your code in here so whenever the screen loads then it will run that code and set the variable um, or run whatever you need to it's, it's just like push your button but on the screen load okay so um, uh, I'm going to add in a uh, text label just down here. Let's expand that out. Just need to change the color to something that we can see on a black background. So yellow. Okay, yellow text. Cool. All right, we'll just leave it as text for now. I'm going to click back on this button. Uh, go to the on select. And then we are going to uh, oh before we do that we have to connect to our SharePoint list don't we so um, we want to add SharePoint click on here go in here and I go to my site and then for this one it is table PO pre-approvals so that's that little SharePoint list that I created so we want to connect to that because that's where we want to get our value from when it does the check. Also, uh, I'm going to need my department. So, uh, you know, if you want to display the person who's logging in, all their details, and you want to put their department, we can do that as well, just to make it easier because we are referring to department in this one. So, um, oopsie, Daisy. Sorry, excuse me. Right. So, um, what we're going to do here, we're going to remove this. We don't want to show the name, we're going to show the department. So, it will be Office 365 connector. You can add just this is the connector over here. So, we want to be using that Office 365.my profile. Um, sorry, oh, sorry, not Office 365 users. There we go. Uh, dot my profile and then dot department there we go so it's showing my um, department there if I want to add some text there I can department space and then an end sign just added on there we go so you can see my department's IT so that's quite handy if someone's logging in and um, the department's relevant okay and then uh, on the button we want to set a variable so uh, we want to set a variable called var um, I, I call my variables start it with var uh, pre approved uh, amount so the pre approved amount and what do we want to set it to we want to set it to a lookup in this uh, example. So um, a lookup, uh, I, I use lookup quite a bit. Basically it goes off, looks into uh, SharePoint uh, for a value that matches some criteria and then returns a value. Okay, so we're gonna look look to our pre-approvals table in SharePoint and we're gonna look for our department and then it's gonna return whatever the value is for the department. Okay, so um our SharePoint list is pre-approval so we've added it it uh, comes in there 
and uh, the title with a title the title remember I put my department in the title that's why I'm putting title in there where title is equal to and exactly the same so office 365 users uh, dot um, uh, my profile dot department cool All right excellent and you can see there's loads of different values right in my profile that you can use but we, we're using department in this but it could be your country job title or whatever so um so we'll use department okay and then return what column do we want to return so it's looking up where the title equals my department which is it then return it could be if i had lots of different columns here i could choose which column to return but we want to return pre-approved amount which is um so pre-approved amount cool and we close that off that should be it right cool so when we click on this button it'll set my variable to whatever value i've got in here so a hundred thousand wow I imagine we could uh, spend a hundred thousand so um we can put in here our text uh, you are approved to spend um uh, how much oh this is where we want to put our variable in right so we want to put uh at and then our variable of our um pre-approved amount that's going to put our amount in another at um open we're going to continue writing our text on any um it hardware uh without manager approval cool um because you are in and then we could um you know th i'm just giving you an example we don't have to type this in but you know we've got the um because you are in um users uh, sorry office 365 users dot profile dot department Okay, because you are in IT space, you are approved. So what do we get? Okay, so I'm building out my dynamic uh, message over here. So let's just um, set that to 11, set it centrally. There we go. Let's try it out. You can see I've got no value in there. I don't think I've clicked the button yet. Let's try it. Ah, there we go. Because you're in IT, uh, you are approved to spend 1,000 on any IT hardware without manager approval. 100,000, fantastic. Okay, well, I can see there's some gaps that I need filling in there. So you can spend, we want to put uh, 400 afterwards. We need a space there just to figure that out. And we also want to put maybe a um, dollar there. Cool. All right, so now you can see I've um, got a dynamic sentence, so uh, you know, a, a dynamic message. So whatever, I could make it as dynamic as I wanted. So depending on what department I am, um, I get a, a pre-approved amount. And let's say we wanted to edit this to, let's say, 500,000, oh, let's make it a bit more realistic, 5,000, okay, we've got 5,000 spend in IT, when I log in, remember if I put this on vis uh, on screen visible, then what would happen, 5,000, okay, and then you could go, um, you know, in, in, in the hardware app that I was, uh, the, sorry, the purchase re requisition app, ordering app I was showing you, um, if if the total of my order then goes above that value, which is now that variable, then I could m make it mandatory that that person has to get uh, approval 
and if it's under 5,000 then they it automatically gets approved so um, you can put some logic around this um, so these dynamic messages are really useful when you get into your more advanced apps cool all right well that's it for today hopefully uh, you found that useful um, please don't forget to smash up the likes share the video join our community much appreciated uh, yeah we'll uh, catch up with you soon have a great week end and week